The North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA. What NAFTA does? We're going to the lecture, we were talking about NAFTA. And NAFTA facilitates temporary entry for business people who are citizens of the US, Mexico, and Canada, and who are involved in the trade of goods or services or investment activities. NAFTA removed the need for a labor market impact assessment, LMIA, for all business persons covered by the agreement. In the case of a business visitor, it removes the need for a work permit. For professionals and intra-company transferee, it expedites the application process because one can apply at the port of entry. Note that nationals who require a temporary resident visa to enter Canada, however, should apply at a visa office prior to coming to Canada. What NAFTA does not do. NAFTA does not assist permanent admission. It does not apply to permanent residents of the three countries. It does not replace the general provision dealing with foreign workers. It has no effect on universal requirements related to passport and identification documentation medical examinations and safety and security. It does not replace the need for workers to meet licensing or certification requirements respecting the exercise of a, of a profession. It does not extend a special privilege to spouses and members of the family. Their entry is governed by the provisions of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act and the regulations. Who is covered by NAFTA? The temporary entry provision of the Charter 16 of the NAFTA are restricted to citizens of the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. In the case of the U.S., citizens of the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico are covered by the NAFTA. However, citizens of the Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, American Samoa, and the U.S. Virgin Islands are excluded from the NAFTA. Permanent residents of the three countries are not covered. They are, however, covered by the general provision covering the temporary entry of foreign workers. Categories of business persons included under the NAFTA. Business persons included in the Charter 16 of the NAFTA are grouped under four categories. Business visitors, professionals, intra-company transferees, traders and investors. And now, we're going to go more in details in the next lecture. Thank you very much.